actually we shouldn't put our navigation there we'll make another tag called nav and here we go main nav another php function now usually in in a normal html file you'll just do like a ul and so the ul list and then a um, anchor tags but in wordpress there's another special function that that can be dynamically updated in the graphical interface which is really neat so we're going to go php wp nav menu and inside here we're going to make an array Alright, and here we can go theme location. Oops. Theme. I can't type. Location. Alright. And then we're going to point that to. I'm going to call this main nav. Main menu. Alright. So that's the function. And then we're going to end the nav there. And yeah, it's, uh, that's pretty much the header.php. Now let's save it. And let's go into our website. Refresh the page. And as you can see, we have this slight thing. Oh yeah, because I was messing around with the menu in well, off stage. But let's just launch another thing here. WordPress. Oh, whoops. WPM. Let's go to our menus. Oh, as you can see, if we go appearance, there is no menus. So let's fix this up right now. This is pretty easy. We'll just go into our um, code and we want to go to our functions.php. Now, at the moment, we have nothing in there as well. So we're going to comment here. And whoops. We're going to say, open up PHP tags. Inside here, we're going to go enable menu uh, options I guess so here we can go PHP oops we already have PHP tags there so we're gonna go add theme support menus so that's another function that WordPress um, gives us and now if we save it and we refresh the page appearance and as you can see here, we have now menus. It's that easy. All right, so now that we have menu in the options, we're going to register menu. So in here, we're going to um, make function. All right. And we're going to call this set menu, oops, menu areas. All right. And here we're going to go, oops. Um, register nav menu and now it says your location and the description now let's go back into our header.php and you can see here it says theme location is main menu so now we know which what to do so the location is as you just saw the main menu and the description is basically what's going to show um, in the interface when you click create menu I'm just gonna call this main menu or we can just say primary menu it doesn't really matter all right and underneath that we're just gonna go add action and then go in it set menu areas so this is just uh, telling WordPress to use this function when uh, Init function is called. All right. So now let's save it. Go into refresh the page again, and let's create a new menu. I'm gonna call this here primary. And here it says primary menu. Now I've already set it to someone. I have no idea why, but anyway, let's just click on it. And there we go. So now we have. Oops, I got two by dumb right there. Now we have a new menu. Yay! So now if we go blog about sample page, let's just put that inside the menu. Save it. Now if we refresh the page, there we go. Blog about sample page. So yay! So we've got that going. All right. 
Now, if you look, um, there's a little gap there, as you can see. Now, we didn't have that, and we didn't style anything to give it that padding, or whatever that is. So, let's just go and fix that. Now, in the footer.php, what we do have to add is we need to add a um, WP footer, just like we did in the header. As you can see. Um, where is it? WP head. So, just above the body here. We're going to type in here PHP and then WP footer. Save it. Now, reverse the page. We get a little nice admin bar. So, that's pretty cool. And we just close the footer. We're not, we're not going to use that now. And let's start styling the navigation and the header. So, the header, we're going to. Um, actually, let's do the container because at the moment, it's everything's in the mid, like, I'll show you what I mean. Let me just get rid of this. Alright. So in the header, we have a uh, div called container, and let's style that. So we're going to go container. Oops. And we're going to give a few um, styles to it. So now that um, we've got that in, we're going to make it a width of 120 pixels, 1,200 pixels. And we're going to position that inside margin. Oh, whoops. Margin, zero order. This is a very, very common technique um, used to make a container. And now we're going to style the, the main header. So we're just going to go um, font family of Arial. And now let's go check out the website so refresh the page and there we go so let's go back into our code and let's style the navigation that we have so let's just make a comment and we're gonna call this here main navigation all right here we go main nav did i yeah i'm pretty sure i made a div yeah main nav and let's add some styles to the right the basis of the navigation so we're going to go background color and the background color we want to go what color do we want let's just go for a nice gray so if we take a look now um we've got this nice thing here going on and now let's go main nav and now we're going to go to the UL. And then this UL, we want padding to be 0. And the margin to be 0. Okay. And you go main nav. Oops. And we want all the LIs to have an, a list style of none. Alright. And what else do we want? We want to display an inline block and now we want to go dot main nav the li and the hover effects so in this case we want to just go background color and we're going to just make it a lighter gray there we go just like that so and finally well not yet but we're just going to style the a the um anchor tags and here we're just gonna go text decoration shin none whoops the color to be um nice white we want the display to be a block and padding to 15 pixels now I'll just explain why we're doing all this now refresh the page here you can see we have this very nice navigation. All right. So I think I went a bit too fast there. I'll just explain. So first, the background color is a nice gray. That's pretty obvious. It's just this background color. Um, padding margin zero. It's just getting rid of any padding near outsides. And then main the all the LIs. And this is basically getting rid of the bullet points. And this is displaying in line. So if we didn't have this. It'll look a bit like this. It'll list down. 
because of that it lists in line. And then when you hover over it, you get that um, gray effect. Text decoration equal none. That gets rid of the um, underline, color white, uh, display block, and the padding, which gives um, this, as you can see, the hover effect. There's this, like, there's this, like, block effect. And yes, that's that. So that's the navigation. And let's just change the font actually. Let's get your font family. We're just gonna give it Arial just for now. Press the page. And uh, there we go. So we now we have this pretty basic web page that looks surprisingly alright, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um and yeah, so thanks for watching guys. In the next tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make this into a drop down navigation menu and probably a few more other um things okay so i'll see you in the next tutorial guys see ya